talk more about all this as many Americans across uh, the nation drop their masks, let down their guard, so to speak, uh, for this 4th of July weekend. A word of caution from Dr. Anthony Fauci. Today, he said even vaccinated people may want to wear masks in areas with high coronavirus transmission potential and low vaccination rates. Joining me right now to discuss is Dr. Jane Morgan, the executive director of the Piedmont Healthcare COVID Task Force in Atlanta. Dr. Morgan, so good to see you. I mean, we can't help but say that. I mean, there, people are getting a lot of conflicting messaging right now. Yes, you know, big celebrations for how many people have been vaccinated, whether it's one shot or two. You know, some jurisdictions, LA County for one, encouraging people to wear masks in public indoor places, even if you have been vaccinated. And now you've got the White House on the 4th of July hosting an event, a thousand people as Arlette uh, just described. They're not required to have a vaccinate, have been vaccinated. And those who haven't been should wear a mask. Do you have concerns that this could potentially look like or even result in a kind of super spreader event that who can forget, you know, the Trump White House had in the Rose Garden. Um, of course, people were not, vaccines weren't available at that time, uh, but there are still concerns that might come from mixing people who are vaccinated, not vaccinated this go round. Right. Happy Fourth of July, Frederica, and to everyone. We have such a cause to celebrate in everything that we've accomplished in this country, in this nation, with regard to vaccinations. So many people to thank, not only the first responders, the entire scientific community, all of those people who stepped up to participate in clinical trials. It's very, very important such that we could get where we are today. 66% of this country has at least one vaccination in their arm. Our cup is certainly half full and not half empty. And on this 4th of July, we want to celebrate all that we have done, this mountain that we are climbing and where we are. And so, so we look at- mm -hmm. I was gonna say White celebrate, House. yes, but the risks are not gone because we are hearing from Fauci and others who are saying, wait a minute, still great, so many people are vaccinated, but still we must not let our guard down. We still have to take precautions. So that's a little confusing for a few people. How, right. how do you help uh, allay fears? How do you help people understand that precautions still have to be made? And absolutely, and in response to your question with the White House, one of yeah. the things I like about the White House gathering is that it's going to be outdoors, that they are asking people to be vaccinated, and if not, to be tested and to make certain that they are COVID negative, and if they have not been vaccinated, to wear a mask. And this is in line with the CDC guidance in following science, and it really is based on people being truthful and following behavior. If you have not been vaccinated, wear a mask. If you are un if you are vaccinated, then you are welcome to attend this outdoor event and feel comfortable. And so we want to continue to follow science. Our concern as we go forward is that this next wave as we are approaching it will be unevenly distributed. We have over 1,000 counties in this country that have vaccination rates of 25% or less. We are very concerned about these communities becoming the spread of a nidus of not only this Delta variant, which is very contagious, but also uh, further mutations to come. And so we want to make certain that people step up and receive vaccinations and understand how we all can be a part of this solution as we're moving forward. So, so while the U.S. has fallen short of, you know, President Biden's goal of 70 percent of adult Americans vaccinated uh, by at least, you know, one dose, how do you in the medical community reach uh, the what eight million people in order to get to you know that goal or even close to uh, closer to herd immunity? How do you convince those who are hesitant versus how do you convince those who are simply refusing to even entertain the idea of a vaccine? Here is the most important thing, Frederica, of the, of the people that we have currently hospitalized in our system here in the United States with COVID-19, 99.2% of those hospitalizations are in the un 
unvaccinated population. That is a huge shift, and it is clear that these vaccines are working and that they are conferring protection. It is also clear that the reason our hospitalizations have not been able to get down to zero is because of the ongoing admissions of these unvaccinated people. And so we want to be certain that people get the message that vaccines protect, it not only protects you, it also protects those who are unvaccinated around you like children who have no other options currently in our society. All right, Dr. Jane Morgan, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, happy 4th. Happy 4th.